Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play heavy rain for the PlayStation 4 My name is Father's Bird and this is Starbase Gaming Channel and today well at least in game it is Tuesday at six minutes past midnight with uh, about a quarter of an inch of rain and This is an Ethan seems we have a protagonist which which I am I am accustomed to because I did play Detroit Become Human multiple times so I do know that you know in Detroit you have multiple characters that you could tell the story from so I guess this is our second story point I don't understand who this guy is but I guess we're gonna learn more about him together I hope you all having a wonderful fantastic day today as we enter this hotel Wow, I'm getting uh, the Wolf Among Us flashbacks here. Okay, I can ask about Lone Winter or I can think. Let's think first. Lead. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Pay dirt. Lead. Uh, cop, possibly? Is he the one who's hunting down the uh, origami killer? Guess I better take the stairs. Well, why is he in this hotel? Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Okay, apparently we're looking for a Lauren Winter. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope, can't say it does. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Huh, would a cop need to do that, though? I mean, if he was a cop, wouldn't he just show him his badge? So why do you have to give him money to bribe the location? Alright. Maybe he is a vigilante? Um, maybe someone, uh, he knows was killed by the one guy killer and he's trying to, you know, exact his own justice. Uh, shoot, which one was she in? I don't know. Left is always right. Let's, uh, start here. This game looks absolutely beautiful with these updated, uh, graphics. Oh, we will be playing, uh... Beyond Two Souls, although I think someone said that Beyond Two Souls wasn't visually updated. But, you know, we play a lot of classic games on this channel, so it's no big deal. Uh, maybe check the back. Left is always right. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only declined by appointment. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah. Uh, kind of missed that one up, Footless Bird. Yeah, no, I wasn't expecting it. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Okay, she's a prostitute. But why would he need to Put go see her? You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Don't think he's here for that. Vote. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Oh, a PI. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. Ah. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Why would she... Why would she know information about Johnny? Uh, compassionate. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. That's why she knows about Johnny. Oof. That's... That's tough. Um, try to convince. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. I thought he's dead, so what difference does it make? Because there's other 
kids who could be killed uh bye are you deaf i have nothing to say to you oh Get i didn't out of here i didn't press anything in time uh bye i bought 10 minutes of your time didn't i all i ask is that you use that time to answer some questions you want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is that it? Oh, wow, that feels kind of dirty. You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Felt wrong trying to trick her, though. Ah, oh, there was just no good response there. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Scott Shelby, private investigator. Just looking around to see if there's anything else here. Hope you all are having a wonderful, fantastic day. Oh, we shouldn't go snooping. That would be wrong. All right, well, I guess we got to leave. Hopefully she'll call later. Poor girl. Have our son taken away. Just horrible. What's up with you, buddy? <coughs> uh, what just happened? Um, up? Left? Sure, no, left is always right. I guess not, right? Oh, he's asthmatic. Okay. Ooh. Lauren. Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. I can identify with Shelby. I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. I have Sorry, Del, breathing problems. I really wanted to see you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. He just She's screaming. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. I hate people who take advantage of women. And children. Shelby. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. I don't think so. How dare you? Um, kick that door down. You exactly. Again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh. I don't think so, buddy. Oh, those are fast. That's really fast. Yeah, how dare you take advantage of a of a lady like that? Whoa! These button presses seem a lot more intense than in House of Ashes. Oh, that was close! Darn it! I hate those button mashes. Ooh, that one hurt. Ow! Oh, nice suplex. Oh, no. Up. Oh. Square. X. Oh, Lord, there's a lot of button presses here. This is insane. Triangle. Go get him, Shelby. Come on. I'll see you again, asshole. Huzzah. That's right. Don't come back. You're all right? Jerk. Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, what's the Spider-Man? It's what we do. Good man. I like Shelby already. Someone who defends a uh, girl from being taken advantage of? Heck yeah. Someone I like. The White Knight.
All right, so we met Ethan, who has issues. Uh, we met Shelby, who's the chivalrous dude, trying to uh, trying to figure out what's going on with this killer. And it's 8.05 a.m. now. A lot more rain. Almost um, over a half an inch of rain now. And I think we've got another character shift. Someone driving to a crime scene. That doesn't look like Shelby. Didn't look like Shelby from the uh, picture either. And he's shaking? What is wrong with this guy? It's like every single character has an issue of some kind, it seems. Alright, who are you, buddy? Um, a journalist? Yeah. Yes, Jill. Ah. I'm gonna guess journalist. The police are still searching the scene and questioning anyone who might have seen something, but no information has still given yet concerning the identity of the victim. Of course, everyone's wondering if the body is that of Jeremy Bowles and has the origami killer swept again. In any case, our team is on the scene. We will keep you informed of the live report as soon as we have any information. I'm Brittany Sanders for ICN. Okay, so... Someone's been found dead? I don't know, is he a journalist? Is he another PI? The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden. FBI. Oh, FBI. Okay, Bad never mind. Something, Mr. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Alright, um... Rain. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. Journalists. Reporters. Already. Huh. They seem well informed. And keep control. God. My hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. Hands are trembling? Why are your hands trembling, buddy? Keep control. Mm. All right, well, let's look around, shall we? God, this game's so beautiful. I saw something over here. No. It looks cold, though. Of course, it's got to have sunglasses. Oh, look at those. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Ari. Well, these things are cool. Oh, whoa, 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 I didn't want to do that. I didn't realize I would put away. I put them back on. Those things are awesome. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm trying to... What's R1 do? Okay, some sort of scanner? I've got to find Lieutenant Carter Blake. Crime scene. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start with. I've got to find Lieutenant Carter Blake. I'm soaking wet. Yeah, it can't be comfortable. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. Railroad track? So someone used the trains to transport the body, possibly? The body is still here. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. The body is still here. Okay, those are gonna be the same. Uh, 
it looks so weird looking through the world in this way. Let's take these off for now. Get some color back into the picture. Until we at least find a uh, Blake. I had to go up to people and ask. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Point it in that. Oh, of course. Thanks. The one guy without a police outfit on. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? Ah, oh, the facts. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. I can control my speed. We know the cause of death. That's cool. There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's, that's not what I meant. Tony! I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Uh, leads? Do you have any leads? My men are going over to see with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind. We'll find it. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jade. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Seems to be a little tension between the, uh, uh, the FBI and the police force here. Now, let's see if these Ari things... Holy footsteps from oh, what is this? Harry can sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Oh, so this thing can analyze things too? This is some awesome equipment, man. This is great. So I take it that bubble we use is the radius of the search. Did they mention um, up there by the train tracks? Should probably check that out, but first, I want to see if there's anything else around. Do I need to pulse multiple times or pulsing once good enough? Because I can see all the footprints here. What's that noise? Over here. Bottle. Oscar Del Sal. Um, no criminal Related record. Related to the investigation. Wow, that thing can scan fingerprints too. Whoa, that thing's amazing. So it can find me clues and it can scan for relevant details. Harry comment, sample of no interest, comes to one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Oh, this, this is really neat. 
And it looks like I didn't need to scan multiple times because there's other things. Oh, wait. Oh no, those are the ones I've already found. Okay, so I accidentally turned myself around then. There's, ooh, what's that? What is that wave? What is that connected to? Oh, it Orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Oh. Harry commented the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. This is super neat. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. No, 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 go back, go back, go back. So I don't know what the commands do sometimes. The origami. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Looks a lot like the one that was in Ethan's hand. But why would he have an instance? Orchid was placed on the victim's chest. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. What is that? Oh, I can look. Oh, that's what that meant. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. What is this? Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Okay, I don't see anything else. No other wounds on the body, though. So it's found in mud. I'm heading back to the office. You staying? Yes. Uh, stay. Yeah, I'm gonna have another look around if you don't mind. Take all the time you want. I want to check by the uh, train tracks where the body was found. As soon as I figure out where the train tracks are, up this way. Because the body was found over here, right? Okay. The music is great. What was that? It's a clue here. Dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Not yet. Well, that's sad. Oh, poor kitty. I don't like to see animals get hurt either. Kids, woman, animals, people in general. Okay, I can't go that way anymore. I don't like seeing people get hurt, period. I mean, yeah. That's just the way I am, I guess. We gotta find anything else of import. Airy comment. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Hello, something else here? Is that blood? Harry comment. Traces of blood on the railroad track. 
Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Something else over here, too. Footprints. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Where do these go to? Up here. Harry Common. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Up. Not gonna be an easy climb now. With all this mud and everything. Okay, I can let go of the button. Oh, that's, that, that's some manual dexterity there. You can let go of the button as the button goes away. Problem is. Okay, so you can hold it. So I can hold R1, and then press L1. And then L1, and then X. Then X is square. Okay. Continue up. King of the Mountain. No, not yet. So I got one more to go. It's like a freeway. It's really hard. Hold on. Um, L1. Damn for evidence. Trail continues over here. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Object memorized. So we had that on file later, so we can compare uh, shoes or something. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see. That's a valuable piece of evidence there, though. Good job, Jaden. Ah, just great. <laughs> all right, um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take off our fancy dancy uh, sunshades here. And let's sit down. So I feel like we have, as you just said, exhausted all of our details. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is tricky. Oh, I tried, I'm sorry, Jaden. I really tried to do that, but the button mashing thing never works for me, just to let you know. If there's... Ah, oh, that didn't work for me either. Well, at least you didn't get super muddied up. I mean, you fell two out of three times, so you didn't fall three times. Alright, uh, let's head out. I guess, uh, want to meet, uh, Blake at the police station, possibly? Maybe go home, take a shower? Get some clean clothes on? I, mean, I know that's what I would want to do. I'm out here in the soaking rain. Wait, is there anything to think about first? Impression. Uh, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. Yeah, I agree. That's a good idea.
Alright. So what do we know so far? Um, the killer? Uh... Kills his victim and then deposits him elsewhere? He, he wants you to think that it's somehow related to the trains, but he's actually using a car to transport the uh, victims. The victim was a child, and there was another child killed. Um, uh, Monica? Uh, what was her name? I already forgot her name. FBI investigator, trophy art. Tuesday, 1 o'clock p.m., 0.765 inches, bat, insect, Butterfly? Why are we taking a voice shock test? Um. Don't think, Ethan. Give me the first idea that pops into your head. Okay, it's um, it's a, it's a pretty butterfly. The butterfly. Um. Uh, fox. A fox. That looks like a fox. It's like uh, someone reaching up to the sky with crab legs. Um, crab. A crab. Uh, that looks like a Grim Reaper. The death symbol. Oh, there's death there. Ish. Blood. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. I didn't mean to press blood. blood. I meant to press. Through water. I meant to press death. Darn it. Getting a brain scan? Trying to figure out what the heck happened? I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? Distant, unhappy, disappoint. He's distant. He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? Depressed? Lonely? Dead? Yeah. Anesthesia? Depressed. I can I understand that one. No longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Jeez. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I'm in a history of depression. I can understand a lot of how he feels. Schizophrenia, blackouts, nothing. Um, blackouts? I sometimes have these blackouts. I guess that's the best way to describe what he felt, right? Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I, mean, I guess it could be schizophrenia. Maybe he has a... I recover consciousness sometime later. Multiple personality disorder? But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Hmm. Like I said, having a history of depression, I can understand how he feels. That, that apathy. Poor 10 p.m. almost in the terrain. Problem, play, school, hungry. Um, uh, do you want to go play? 
aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Uh, how's school? How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my homework. Uh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? It's a horrible dad. Um, any problems? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm alright. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat something? This is so awkward. Come on, kid. Let, let's let's go do something. A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? I have no idea how a boomerang works either. R1. R2. Oh! <laughs> better than that. Oops. <laughs> okay, check this out. Two and two. Catch! Oh, that's awesome! I wish I could do that. That'd be so much fun. A one, two, and sling it! Look how pretty the rainbow looks. Uh, there it is! Whoa! You did it, Dad! Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on. Let's try it together. Yeah, come on. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you got to throw it straight and a little to the right. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come on, come on, come on. Yes! I did it! I did it, Dad! Good Yay. job, Sean. See? That wasn't so hard. Actually bonding over something. I always like playing an RPG where like a boomerang is a weapon. I just think that's super cool. Does he play games where you have like bow and arrows and you have infinite arrows, or infinite, um, you know, throwing axes, stuff like that? But the boomerang actually does come back. Um, I don't want to leave my kid. Can I? There we go. I'll find something else to do with him. Okay, I think that's telling me we need to get up and do something. Alright, the, uh, the game is pointing me... Oh, hello, it's Seesaw. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Those always hurt yeah. my butt. Like, the big metal seats just always weren't comfortable for me. I don't know about anyone else. Just weren't comfortable. Dad, make me fly. Down we go. Oh, he's not even seeing now. Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty smart. <laughs> How does this game do this? Where you just have these really, really nice moments <laughs> with very, very cool music, and then it just hits you in the face with something horrible that happens. Oh god, does that mean something horrible is going to happen next? I really hope not. Can we just enjoy our time with our kid, please? <laughs> merry-go-round. What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great!
This reminds me of the Donald Duck's Playground game I played as a kid. Where you had like all these games you could play. And they're just fun games that you could play, you know? I hate mashing on, things. As fast as you can. I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. Faster. I'm trying! Faster. I'm trying! Faster, faster. I'm trying, this hurts my hand. Nothing in this world like seeing a child he loved with a smile on his face. Good training for astronauts, though. <laughs> or her face. Knowing that you can make them happy. I don't want to leave yet. He seems to be having fun. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen that smile. Yeah, I agree. I'll find something else to do with him. It's getting dark. It might start to rain soon. It's over here. Candies. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Oh, I love chewies. Jelly beans are better, Thanks. though. And of course, chocolate. Hey, Anything is good. I got you some chewies. I hate strawberries. Really? Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Oh, come on. Can, can I buy a different one, please? Oh, wait, 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 hey, kid. Here, let, let me make you happy again. Uh, come to the swings. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. There we go. Let's put a smile back on his face again. Sorry, kid. I missed. Give me one more shot. Yeah, hey, give me another shot. I, I didn't realize that would be a uh, a motion thing there. Come on, Dad. Higher. This music is so pretty. <laughs> What else can we do? Get stuck, apparently. Um, may I go around? Actually, how about over here first? Okay. I can't really seem to use the may go around. Weird camera angles. People making out beyond the merry round. Of course they are. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Nope, doesn't seem to be anything else here to do. Alright, you ready to go, kiddo? Looks like rain's coming. I think you better go. Okay. So nice that we were able to and have a. Uh... Sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Aww. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. I'm sorry, kid. Me too, Sean. Me too. Come on, Dad. What are you doing? I'm coming. Starting to rain. Oh. He was waiting for me. 
My bad. I was waiting for him and he was waiting for me. Yeah, the rain's starting to come down, isn't it? Can we like walk with our kid in front? Oh, I guess he's following me. Hey dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Absolutely. Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Yeah. I wanted to do the ma I wanted to go to the uh, mega ride anyway. One please. That's a dollar. Not a problem. Here's your dollar. Where's our kid at? There he is. Oh no, not this again. Oh, not this again. I just oh shoot! I died. Uh, sorry. I think I pressed left on the wrong analog stick because I was so shocked by that. Of course, I had to say something about everything going well and then everything going horribly. Where are we now? Wow, we can move. Where are we? Where is our kid? How much time has passed? A lot. What's that, 7.15? It's about three hours. There's a bag over here. Kid, go. He went home. Hopefully, right? Sean, where are you? Sean. Sean, where are you? It's not gonna be outside. It's raining out. It's gotta be upstairs. In his bed, right? Sean, 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 Sean! Don't do this to me, kid. Where's our son? Oh, don't, oh, no, not again. No! <laughs> Why does he have those in his hands, though? And what happened in that last three hours? What is going on? Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Need to get some answers. Tuesday, 7.55 p.m. Uh, 1.326 inches. Apparently, just like the uh, dark picture games, it's counting towards something. Although, uh, unlike those games, it's not counting towards a time. It's counting towards a... um. Perry? I gotta see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. Gee, I hate internal politics bullshit. Oh, I agree with you on that one. I could go for a little airy time right about now. Airy time? Okay. Those are the glasses. I wonder what we can do with these. What? 
Oh, no way. Oh, I want one of these. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I still want one of these. <laughs> it's just like looking at me like, what is this guy doing? Oh, I could do this all day long. I wonder what other type of uh, things there are on this thing. I mean, there was like a tank, right? Ah, oh, I guess I don't get a chance to see. I still want an Ari. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. I like his accent. I have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you Hopefully. know how to tie a knot in a necktie? Do you not know how to tie a tie? Seriously? To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press... They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it is none of my business. I like how no, of course not. good the cheese tie looks and look at his All tie. All I'm asking is that you make progress and fast. The press want a perpetrator and we're going to have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. It's been a while since I had a tie tie. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. To check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome I, to the club, Jaden. I definitely want to check up on the press conference first. I want to know what's going on. So let's go ahead and follow the chief here. Looks like there's a map right there, but hopefully I can uh, do that on the way back. So drowned. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end, he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes? Can't hear her. No. He is not making 
any contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Okay. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poor parts of the city. What do you say to that? That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. Hmm. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. Also means he's probably Sorry, from a poor part of town. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that true? You seem to be well informed. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. Can't hear him. Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation, except to support the efforts of the police force. Of course. Something about the politics, possibly? Thank you for your cooperation. Please. All right, apparently he's just gonna stare at the door now. Oh, now he's coming out. Can we talk to him? No, we can't. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. It's a map. I should get Perry's assistant to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. Case's front page news in all the papers. It's not going to be easy investigating a crime under the glare of all this publicity. Yeah, that's true. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Get a hold of yourself, man. Serial killers will do that. Strange character, Captain Perry. Seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. Well, that's the life of a police captain, the PR. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Uh, sure. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. This, this is my office? It's a hole in the wall. That's where I was told to take you. <laughs> if you need anything, you know where to find me. It's a broom closet. Oh, oh I guess you know, that's what happened. At least it's quiet. Okay, time to work. All right, let's see. It's now? Check out whatever. Okay, I guess don't check out whatever that is. Oh man, all that dust. This is a broom closet. Well, how are you gonna work if you're not gonna. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Okay, I guess you can put things up on the wall better that way. I don't know how hard to reach things on the wall, though. Ari. Step one. Change the office. Okay. How are we going to do that? Oh. 
What? What? How do I select? Um, open. Oh, down. What? Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Whoa. What, the, what about this one? On Mars? That's not as comforting. What about this one? Whoa! That is absolutely beautiful, but I am petrified of heights, so let's definitely not pick that one. Alright, last one. I like the forest one best so far. Whoa! This is even cooler! You know me, I'm a footless bird. Our natural environment is the water, so um yeah, I'm 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 okay with that. I like this one, especially with the shark in the background. It looks so cool. Clues. Uh analyze. Tire tracks. Killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. No data. I just realized how long we've been playing, but I can't stop yet. Just one origami store in town. All right, we should check that place out. Oh, wait, I want to go back. I want to analyze it. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Just paper, unfortunately. Flower of orchids. Hmm. A common species. That doesn't help much. Well, is there a specific place in town where they're at? The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Unfortunately not. All right, that's all our current evidence. Clear all. And uh, files. Oh, this is really cool. It's a portable office. Um, open. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. How does a kid just disappear in the open public? Um, analyze. All train. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. The killer has a large comfort zone. Hmm. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Normally they start closest to the house, right? Um, killer. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Uh, analyze. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, 
calm and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Gene analysis. Okay, nothing. Um, clear. Uh, environment. No, no, I don't want that. My bad. Um, get rid of this. Clear. Uh, map. Clothes. Uh, what's going on with you? Here we go again. I better go wash my face. Uh... Is that effects from I Ari? I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Oh. Take some? It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Tripto? Oh, it's a drug. He's an addict. Oh, that's his problem. Well, taking drugs is, is not gonna help right, us huh? solve this case. Not at all. No one will see. Oh, you are spazzing out, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I only have so many hands. I went in the wrong bathroom. Okay, and I don't think that's a problem. Whew. Thought for a second that I went in the wrong place. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Dude, you need to stop with this, whatever that stuff is. It's not gonna do well for you. Hey, is that Ethan? Hopefully he's here to say, hey, I've lost my kid. Thank you for everything. I love you all so very much. Try to make these, uh, you know, in between 45 minutes to an hour. But lately, I've been going for about an hour per episode. And we are getting to about that time. Uh, we'll pick up tomorrow uh, right where we left off. And until then, my friends, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.